الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد اهو تف الله don't consider any of your deeds as something insignificant do your best to do sadaqa every day as much as possible even if it's a smile even if it's giving a small amount of money to someone that you have or helping your Muslim brother or sister out when they are in difficulty or even if it's a smile the Prophet ﷺ said in Sahih Bukhari, in the hadith of Jabir, رضي الله تعالى عنه, and I believe it's Jabir ibn Abdullah, رضي الله تعالى عنه, he said that the Messenger of Allah ﷺ said, every act of goodness is sadaqah. Let's take a look at this hadith. This is from the Joanna Akena that the Prophet ﷺ was blessed with. This is from the simplicity and language that the Prophet ﷺ was blessed with that had immense ma'ani, immense meaning. The power in his word, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to follow the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and follow his sunnah, alayhi salatu wa sallam, and forgive us of our weakness. Amin ya rabbil alameen. Alhamdulillah, during this holy month of Ramadan, this is imperative for us to uh, try to practice and understand. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, kum ma'ruf All good deeds, all goodness is sallam. Giving a dollar to someone, a real to someone, a yen to someone, whatever the case may be, is sallam. Smiling at someone, is sadaqa. Giving salams to someone is a part of goodness. It's sadaqa. Al Emir bi ma'ruf wa nahi al commanding the good and forbidding the evil is sadaqa. Reminding your Muslim brother or your Muslim sister about something of khair is sadaqa. Under this general meaning, kullu ma'ruf sadaqa. The Prophet said, all, it's unrestricted, all ma'ruf, all goodness is, is charity. Feeding the cats and the dogs, giving them some water, is sadaqa. Removing something harmful from the road is sadaqa. Saying a kind word of kindness is sadaqa. Making islah or peace between Muslims or between people that are having a dispute is sadaqa. You've done something good. And a benefit of that is, I promise you, bi'idhnillah, you will not find any loss when you do this kind of sadaqa. Whenever you do something good, you feel good. The reward of good, a jaza, how a jaza the ihsan, illa the ihsan, is there any good from goodness except goodness? The reward of goodness is only goodness. So if you do something good, you feel good about it. But when you do something bad, as the Prophet says, you feel it in your chest. You feel something. If you have a dispute with someone, you feel something in your chest. Especially when you know out of your arrogance that what you did was wrong, that you were disputing a battle. Don't dispute and argue on falsehood. When you're wrong, you're wrong. Do your best to face up to this. This is advice, of course, to myself and then to my Muslim brothers and sisters. When Abu Dhar radiallahu ta'ala anhu said to the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, لا تحكرنا من المعروف شيئا ولا أن تلقى أخاك بوجه طلق Narrated Abu Dhar radiallahu ta'ala anhu the messengers of Allah, the messenger of Allah said, 
Do not consider any act of goodness insignificant. Even if it is meeting your brother with a cheerful face. In this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu it affirms what we already stated. That we should not belittle good deeds. And that even smiling, even having a cheerful face, is a type of goodness and is a type of sadaqa. And we should never think that that simple act is too small for reward from the loss of time. Or that it's too small to bring about goodness and to have a, a ripple effect. For example, if you're at work, or you're in the marketplace, or wherever you are, and you greet someone with a smile, or you don't even know that person. They could be Muslim, non-Muslim, whatever the case may be, and you just smile at them. Or you just have kind of that positive energy about yourself. Most, more than likely, the human response, the humane response, will be that it will leave a positive effect with that person. Sometimes just that positive energy, you benefit from their positive energy. Sometimes you watch someone and you see good from them. They have a goodness about them, a kindness in their face, and from that it rubs off on you. And it helps to make your day positive. So do your best to be that positive source of good. Do your best, especially this holy month of Ramadan, to do these small acts of kindness. And share this with your Muslim brothers and sisters, and even with the rest of humanity. Show them. And it's a type of dawah. It's a type of calling them to the goodness of Islam. People need to see this goodness with all the evil and all the distortions that people are trying to bring about and paint Islam with. We have to show them some good. It's our duty to Allah and And it's our duty to mankind. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم